They say that about 60 to 70 percent of all doctor visits come back to stress. And so that does play such a big part. And we try to offer these free classes for, for the public so we can make them more aware. Mm. Now you were talking about uh, blood sugar, sugar. I mean, before I forget, we'll get back to your classes. Mm -hmm. uh, you have something here yes. in your hand. And if you could explain, um, hopefully if the viewers at home can see this, um, you just go ahead and explain okay. what that is. Uh, First, let me describe where the numbers are, because the numbers for diabetes have changed. 60 to 100 is normal without diabetes. 100 through 125 is considered what we call as pre-diabetes, or maybe you call it early diabetes. And 126 and above is considered to have a diagnosis of diabetes. And so here is 100 blood sugar. And so I'm one of these people that I have to see what, what things look like instead of someone just coming into a room and saying, you know, you have high blood sugar. So, uh, yes. so what we're doing, what we're looking at here, when you talk about visual, and I'm a very visual yes. person too, you see how fluid the uh, white particles inside the test tube are flowing. So that represents what? That re represents how the blood sugar looks in the in the bloodstream. So it's easily moving easily through, moving and, through. And this is non-diabetic. Non-diabetic, one hundred. One hundred. Okay. Here is two hundred, and it starts getting more sluggish. It's just like adding sugar to a batter. Things get kind of sticky. It's just a chemical reaction yeah. to it. I see. Mm -hmm. And here's three hundred. And now that represents what? 300 level blood sugar. That's blood sugar. diabetic. That is 200 was 126 and above is considered to have a I diagnosis see. of diabetes, fasting blood sugar. Mm. And that means without food or drink. And so it looks more like, 300 looks more like molasses. And so you can see why you start having more of the complications from diabetes. And this is just what we want to avoid to get the word out about how to control diabetes. I see. So uh, then through either insulin or diet or exercise, a combination of all three, then it does actually lower it or? Yeah, lowers the blood sugar. Mm. First we talk in class, we talk about the two main treatment options, uh, a food and activity plan. Those are the main options uh, what, with whatever kind of plan that you have. Uh, and then the other option is diabetes pills and insulin. And everybody always gets um, concerned. Oh, I don't want to go on insulin. Insulin isn't a bad thing. It just means, but when you develop type 2 diabetes, by the time you're diagnosed with that, half of the cells that produce insulin in the pancreas are no longer working. So it's just your body needs that insulin if you need to take it. I think you brought up a good point that uh we didn't really address yet is the symptoms. How does somebody know or suspect that they may be diabetic? You know, a lot of people don't even realize that they have diabetes. During my diabetes class, I, I go around and ask, how did you, did you find out that you had diabetes? Or how did you know? And about half of the people at least uh, tell me, the doctor told me, and I had no clue at all. Uh, but some of the symptoms are uh, frequent urination, your body doesn't like what it looks like, you know, how that feels inside. And so it tries to get rid of it by urinating, de peeing. <laughs> de define frequent. Um, you know, several times during during the night, uh, you know. Men or women. Yeah, it's just, it, there's not a defined amount of frequent urination. It's just like, boy, you know, I'm, I'm having to go to the bathroom a lot I more see. now. Okay. Um, increased thirst because you're urinating mm. quite a bit going to the bathroom. Um, sores that don't heal. Uh, the sugar can't, the blood sugar can't get into the cell to help it to heal. Um, and uh, numbness in the hands or the feet. So it's, the cells just aren't getting what they need. And numbness that would never go away or intermittent? Or? Yeah, our bodies are very forgiving. Um, so that, that can go away. I see, with the proper treatment. Yes. I see. Now, uh, when uh, people say, well, I learned from my doctor. How, do, how does the doctor determine? Is that blood test only? Blood test, yeah. I see. We also offer at the hospital um, a blood glucose screening on the fourth Thursday of every month uh, from 9 to 10 o'clock. 
and people can come in and be fasting without food or drink for about eight hours or they can have their breakfast and come in and I will check their blood sugar two hours after their meal. I see. So that's pretty convenient for everybody, yeah. uh, whether to eat or, or not to eat. Um, now, uh, diabetes is called the silent killer. Why is that? Or is that passe now? Cause it's, it's often because, like I said, the, the doctor is the first one to tell them that they have diabetes. They just didn't re realize it. I think we can rationalize a lot about our bodies and say, you know, I just don't feel good. I don't have any energy, you know. I, I can't see as well uh, what's going on and uh, and so they don't realize they give it other reason I just must be getting older you know and they don't realize that that's what's causing it how does di diabetes kill uh, caused by complications of the, the diabetes um, it affects almost every part of the body maybe except for the lungs anywhere where you have nerves um, as you can see in these glucose wands uh, things get sticky and so it causes inflammation in the body and so um, you can have increased risk for heart disease. Um, often I see a lot of men come into class and say I just had open bypass uh, surgery and heart bypass surgery and um, that I see that very frequently that they're having some kind of heart problems because it affects your circulation. I think what you're providing to the community as far as education is uh, vital and uh, I would like to talk a little bit more about the classes uh, that you offer f for the public and what how they can go about becoming a participant in that. We offer a variety of different classes. One uh, that's usually covered by all insurances um, is our diabetes self-management program that consists of four classes and one individual appointment with a dietitian. Each class we have a dietitian and myself a certified diabetes educator there. Um, and we go over almost everything in that class. Uh, we First class we talk about what diabetes is and what you can do. Uh, and then the dietitian talks about carb counting, carbohydrate counting. Mm -hmm. And we try to split it up so it isn't so overwhelming all at once. Uh, the second class we have is uh, talks about treating low blood sugars or hypoglycemia and that's blood sugars under 70 and we talk about complications, sick day care and then the third class we have a, our pharmacist come in and speak and uh, he talks about their medications and gives a wealth of information. Everybody loves that part of it. And then the dietitian talks about eating out, fast foods, uh, protein, salt, fats. Mm -hmm. And the fourth class, we have a review over uh, the previous items and anything that we need to cover over more, and foot care and stress. Stress is a big part of the, of the program. I see. I was going to ask you about the foot care because um, it seems that uh, podiatry gets a lot of attention from uh, diabetes uh, and then maybe eyesight to a little bit lesser of a degree. Can you uh, explain to me why uh, diabetes uh, affects the circulation in the feet or even, you know, I've heard it goes as far as sometimes the, the, the limb has to be amputated or something like that. Why is that? You know, the main thing I think about is the feet are the farthest away from the heart mm -hmm. and so it affects if you have an effect on the circulation, of course, the feet are going to be mm -hmm. infected. And also, if you have high blood sugars, it affects the nerves. And so you maybe don't feel uh, if you had a rock in your shoe. You didn't oh, realize right. you were walking on it all day long. And it comes on gradually. You don't realize that you can't feel it anymore. I mm -hmm. had one lady that she uh, uh, had bought a pair of new, new pair of shoes and she didn't realize that you know how they had the stuffing in the toe of the shoe mm -hmm. she didn't realize the stuffing was still there until 